Hello and welcome to another Seek Out the Adventure video where we are going to be talking about some more van hacks. So for some of you that have a Ford Transit passenger van like me, you've probably been wondering what the van looks like underneath the headliner. I've been wanting to do a few things that requires me to get on the inside of the headliner and I've just been a little too scared to pull it down. I was kind of forced to do it recently because my wife was installing these amazing uh, sh uh, curtains and we needed to get behind the headliner to be able to mount the velcro along here so I just I did it I pulled down the headliners and just thought that a lot of you guys would appreciate seeing what it looks like underneath some of you have wondered about installing fans on a mid-roof and if you'll tap into anything there's really nothing um, along the ribs you got the the wiring so even though the lights might appear to be here there's nothing here so um, yeah really tapping into the roof for a, a air vent would be super simple um, so along the whole perimeter you've got the airbag curtain and then above that you've got the AC duct the I believe the AC comes out of here and then the floor uh, vents are where the heat comes from but a view from the front all the way to the back you've got the air duct going across the the back doors as well and then here is going towards the front. I did not take off all of this because that's just a, a headache from what I can tell. So what, what I'm doing is, one of the things I'm doing is I am installing plus nuts or riv nuts right here instead of the push pins that usually hold up, hold up the headliner. I'm doing that so that I can eventually just mount things. So every single one I've uh, added these so that I can uh, screw in some bolts. Eventually I may do a track of the 8020 aluminum or I might do an L track, E track, one of those random tracks. Um, or I might just uh, put like eye bolts or bolt hangers, something that I can just clip things onto. Just a lot of different things that I can do with it. Just uh, right now, I'm just gonna be putting the bolts in. It'll right now kind of look like this. And then eventually I'll have something up there that um, I can either clip a carabiner into or just have a whole track system that I can just do all sorts of stuff. Like maybe do a, a cargo net up above the passenger seats so you can just shove jackets and pillows and stuff up there. Don't know, but. Uh, as for what the inside of the headliners look like, this headliner is the one that's uh, that this end connects to here. That's what this one is, and you can just see that like there's the back side of the light system, and you just, uh, just uh, unplug the the light cables from you know their plugins right here. Um, the way that these mount to the the ceiling is they use these push pins that usually go up through here like that and that's what goes through this hole that I've now threaded but they also have these little compression pins that you have to pop out but on this particular one because it's so big they had these uh, intermittent supports which are just magnets and the magnets just uh, magnetize onto the the steel rim right here so a few different ways these push pins these push pins some magnetic things and other than that like they're really not that hard to take off one of the things you do need to do is take off these column covers because the edges of these tuck into them so you just pop off the column covers pull these out very gently pull these out gently and it really comes down and then just be mindful of the light cables and everything like that but one more 360 look at what the perimeter underneath the headline looks like for those that have always wanted to know 
Going to the front of the vehicle now. This is on the passenger side above the sliding door. Feel free to pause at any moment to maybe get a little better visual. And then back over to the back of the van. Alrighty, well I hope you found this uh, very informational. Um, actually, let me give you a little bit more information on what I'm doing to uh, you know, convert these holes into something threaded. So I'm using, I don't know what the actual term is of this that I'm using. There's plus nuts and there's rib nuts and I really don't know what makes one different than the other. But this is a plus nut or rib nut that takes a 5 16 18 uh, threaded bolt. Uh, the hole that you have to drill for this, I'm not sure, might be 3 8 This is the drill bit that uh, you have to use to, to drill those in, or to drill a hole. So what I did was I took the existing hole and then I pretty much bored it out with this bit and then I was able to push this up in there. And then I use this little makeshift tool it's pretty much got the, uh, yeah, I'll have to do a whole other video on that if you don't know how to install them. But I just, instead of buying an actual tool for these rib nuts or plus nuts, I just use this makeshift tool to install it. My battery died, and so that's why this one's just sitting here waiting for the juice to, to come back on the impact driver. So that's the current project right now, just kind of modifying the headliner and installing these curtains and uh, eventually hopefully I'll have an update for you in terms of what I end up doing with these threaded threaded points um, I'd love to get a track system of like 8020 aluminum but that costs money so that might be later on but at least I can get some like bolt hangers or uh, eye bolts to put in here and then I can at least clip things from a carabiner maybe put a cargo net or something so excited to just play around and and uh, get this thing more and more customized and decked out so I got it all pieced back together here's what it looks like so all of this started because we were installing these curtains um, these leather tabs they allow us to roll the curtains up and just kind of pin them out of the way when we want to have a view but in regards to what the headliner mounts now look like so this is the one issue that I had is there were already pre-drilled holes on all of these seams but then in the middle of this really big one there was never a hole there so I had to create a hole and lining it up was pretty bad and on this one I can't even put one in there right now because they're one of those mag the magnetic thing that keeps the middle of this up is like right in the way so I'm gonna have to modify that a little bit but turned out pretty well so right now they're just secured in there with some washers and bolts but eventually eventually we'll get something up there again like a nice long track that I can then have like multiple mounting options or just eye bolts that I can just at least clip carabiners into to hang stuff so we'll see what becomes of it but for now I at least got the dirty work out of the way until I decide exactly what I want to do